master of the sun Memories falling on concrete Okay, welcome back. Uh, today, a shortish video uh, because I've got an appointment this afternoon. Now, lots and lots of you, almost a tidal wave saying, why don't you just screw it from underneath? It would look far smoother and all that. Yes, it would, of course it would, that's cool. But it is a custom application and I have a cunning plan. I'm thinking ahead here of something else I wanna do. And I kinda did wanna keep it as a bit of a surprise, maybe for those who are following the build, but I thought it's easier to just explain it now. It might not come off. I don't like to say these things in case they don't happen and then you look like you're just dreaming all the time. But this is what I'm thinking, okay? I'm mounting this from above with the four tubes for a couple of reasons. Firstly, so I can get it off without having to disturb anything underneath. That structure is thick steel at the moment. It'll have all the electrics in it when it's done, as you know. Below that, underneath it, I want to put a steel under tray that hugs round it, hugs round that completely at the rear. And in between that steel under tray and that, it will have some heat proofing because what I'm thinking of doing is maybe putting the exhaust up underneath that in the gap. The gap I've got between that and the tire is something like 14 inches at one point. That's a huge gap. I could easily get a slim exhaust in there, an oval exhaust. You can buy oval piping. So if I mount an exhaust under there, I have to have the heat shield. The heat shield will be the under tray and effectively that will have to cover everything, including the mounts for the top panel. So if I bolt that up from underneath, I then won't be able to get to the bolts because I'll have to cover everything from underneath for purposes of weather and obviously heat from the exhaust. So that is the thinking folks. I'm trying if I can to think ahead and design this so I can put an underseat exhaust and the idea hopefully will to bring it out the side like torpedo tube style at the side of the panel or possibly at the back. I don't know, but that's not that's to be decided later on. At the moment, I can bring the, the, the downpipe that is there round the outside. I've discovered oval tubing exists, so I can buy that, weld or fabricate that into a piece and bring the exhaust up underneath. So that's why I'm not choosing to bolt it down from underneath. At the moment, I think from the top is the best way. Let's see how it unfolds, I don't know. So wish me luck, let's do a bit of work. Okay, let's get these off. So there we are, simple way to make two absolutely precisely sized washers. They're a millimeter smaller than the diameter of these two holes. So they'll slot in there nicely to the bottom and sit at the bottom as a permanent base of the hole. Now this is not thinking ahead. This is why I've had to make these today. What I would have done, what I should have done, is welded these to the bottom of the tubes before I put them in. But like all these things, I just didn't because just didn't think of it ahead. But that's no problem. They don't have to be welded to it. There's no strength involved there whatsoever. So I'll pop them down inside there now. Now, what's in the bottom now is like a, because I had to put resin down in the bottom of these holes 
to flow round the bottom of this tube and glue it in firm permanently. There's like a meniscus of resin there, like a curve. So the bottom of that hole at the moment is that shape, not nice and square. So if I put these in now, they're gonna sit way high if they even reach the bottom. So to get that cut out down in the bottom there, so it's absolutely square in the bottom and flush all the way to the bottom of the hole, just creative use of tools a little bit like just now. I'm gonna use a hole cutter and go down there, the one size that fits in there, and then just grind around in there, get all that fiberglass out on the inside, then I can put these washers right down in the bottom. And the easiest way to use these things, when you use them, there's a drill bit that comes up the middle to help you centre the hole. I don't need that because there's, I don't want it to go chewing the hole out in the bottom. So just take the drill bit out of the arbor, screw that into the arbor like that. Then I can mount that in the drill and that would be a great little cutter just to cut all that fiberglass out in the bottom. Creative use of your equipment means you don't need to buy more of the stuff. Great correction. Perfect. Excellent. There we are. Nice. Okay. Right, it's a little fiberglass resin now, just a dab and nicely in the bottom, drop them in and they'll set on it. And then we can mount the damn thing. No more than a teaspoon. Right, as I said in the last one, um, with the last video, that right hand thread was a, a little bit off and it was binding because the holes weren't lining up. Well, with the washers in the center there, absolutely centering, that was almost a half a hole out in alignment. So just off camera, so as not to bore you all to tears, if you can see the clock there. Where are we? It's got past 12, about 45 minutes now. I just welded that hole back up completely just plug welded it, re-drilled it, re-tapped it so now it lines up properly. Better to do it, sometimes if it takes a little bit longer, take it, do it again and do it right, then you're more satisfied with it because it bugs you. <laughs> Okay, bolted down at last. Um, that was a lot of work, a lot of messing about. I had to straighten up one of the holes, as I said, weld up a hole, re-drill it a millimetre to the front, and then re-tap it, and that way they all line up, everything screws down. I'll get the right fasteners in the end, I'll get the right length bolts threaded to the right length that will spin down neatly. These are just temporary fasteners for now, out of the old pat litter tray, job done. Now that is it, that is it, securely mounted on the bike. Been looking forward to this bit. I can now grind these off nice and flush like the front ones, tidy up some of this hideousnessness, and then lock off these unnecessary little ears and that, and then bolt it back on for a little look. So let's make some mess.
Okay, there we go. A proper happy with that and a proper little milestone achieved. I've got it finally mounted on its finished structure underneath. Now there will be a few other little things to do. I've just got to move a few bits and pieces on the understructure to get all the electrics right up out of the way. Whether I can create and achieve that crazy idea to have the exhaust exit in out the side up here, who knows? It's a lot of work, a lot of fabrication. It is at the moment way beyond my skill set, but I'm, I fancy stepping up and having a go at it. If it fails, then it's just a waste of a few materials and it's worth it to at least have tried because I will have learned along the way. So wish me luck on that. But for today, here we are, a mounted tail that I'm really happy with. So I'm not gonna bother with this, finessing it and making it look nice for now. It's not important. It looks a bit of a disaster at the moment because I ground all that old spilt fiberglass off it which has gone through to the filler but I'm not going to waste materials trying to make that look good because they're all going to get sanded off again in the future. I have got a couple more things. Next couple of videos, trim the sides up, get the right height and the right level on the sides and then trim the tail off and mount the light. So it's still lots and lots to do, lots of constructive stuff and each one will be a good visual step forward. Looking at it from this point of view, I reckon I'm about 75% of the way through this tail towards paint. The paint itself, who knows, I still don't know what I'm going to do. It goes round and round in my head. I'll decide closer to the time. But there we are. I'm going to give you a close look from a couple of angles because I'm really chuffed. The most important thing is this is straight. Everything lines up that way, that way, sideways. So I'll give you a couple of scenes around it, a couple of little stills. Stick something on the board to say what we've done today. And I've got an appointment to get to in about half an hour's time. So thanks for watching. Take easy, ride safe, and I'll see you next time. Victim of your car